hello guys so today i will discuss about uh, what is cross validation and how this can be performed in r so we will go through step by step in this that what is training data set and what is testing data set and uh, what is cross validation in general and how is it performed so we know that the training data set is a data set on which we train the model or you can say that the data set on which the model is being trained or from which the model learns once the model has learned something from the training data set we need to test that how much the model has learned from the training data so we need to test it on a unknown data set which is called the testing data set so we can say that there is two types of data sets one is training data set or from which the model learns and one is testing data set on which we test the model predictions this is generally uh, what we usually do in machine learning but what is cross validation is it is a kind of technique which actually tells beforehand that how well the model will work on an unknown data set based on the only training data set and how does this work is let's take an example say we we have taken iris data set which is here we know that uh, iris data set has 150 observations and five variables let's just check it out what is in it it has four variables predictor variables one is sepal length sepal width petal length petal width these are the predictor variables and species is the target variable which we need to predict so it is three class variable target variable so we have three classes in it one is setosa one is versicolor and one is virginica we need to predict the species based on these four predictor variables these are continuous variable so what we do is so we have 150 observation data set we don't have any testing data set right here but in case we get we need to check that how the model will work on that data set but what cross validation does is it works on the given data set it works on the given training data set so this is the training data set because it has the complete target variable given for all the 150 observations in the testing data set we don't have the species variable we only have the four columns on the basis of which we need to predict this a species but on this data set the species is also given that's why it is called training data set from this data set we need to learn the model need to learn on the basis of these four predictor variables it tries to correlate this four variables with the target variable what the cross validation technique does is say consider we are doing a three fold cross validation so there are many types of cross validation you can do you can do two fold you can do uh, four fold five fold ten fold consider we are doing three fold cross validation in this data set so what we will do is we will divide the iris data set of 150 observations into three partitions so we have 150 observations and we need to do three fold cross validation so we will divide this data set into three partitions say the three partitions of 150 will be 50 each observations so say a b and c these are three data sets which has 50 observations out of these 150 so we will do random sampling of these 150 observations we will choose any 50 for each of these data sets so we have three different data sets now out which is been created out of this data set 150 what the cross validation will do is it will train the model will be trained on a and b part and then it will be tested on the c part so we won't be taking the c part while the training of the model while the model fitting we won't touch the c part what we do is we take a and b together and this will become one data set on which we will fit the model so a and b will become 
hundred observations so on this we will uh, train the model and then we will test on the C part similarly then what we do in the next step is then again we train the model on B and C part together and then test on A part and then we train on A and C together and test on B part so we have trained three times in cross validation when we are doing three fold cross validation this will take uh, do like this A B C part and then testing on C testing on A and testing on B after training on A and B B and C and A and C so after doing this what we do is we take out the average of accuracy metric of these three testings we have done three times testing right so we will take the average of this so this accuracy will be average so this cross validation is in indirectly trying to uh, without touching uh, without knowing the unknown data set what it is doing is it is creating the testing data sets out of the given training data set and it is trying to find the average of those accuracy metric or other kind of uh, metric which we are interested in but it is actually telling that how the model will behave when it is being given an unknown data set so if we increase the number of folds say five folds so we will make five fold so that will create 30 observations each so a b c d and e so five partitions of the data set and each data set will be of 30 observations and then what we do is we will train on a b c and d and test on e then train on a b c e and test on d similarly we will do like this so we will then take out the average of the accuracy metric so now we know about that uh, what is cross validation let's move ahead and know about uh, what and how this is being performed in R so let's go ahead and see from here so this is the beginning and you have